Good evening and welcome to the Mirror of the World. I want to thank you for joining today. My name is Buki Adeoshun and I'm your regular host on the program. I pray in the name of Jesus that the Lord will give you a wonderful experience in Jesus' name. Today he is going to show us something in his word to shout for in the mighty name of Jesus. Before we start, I would like us to pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you. We bless your name. We honor you. We magnify you. Lord, thank you for everything that you are going to do for us through your word today. Thank you because you will open our eyes to see what you want us to see in your word today. Lord, I give you praise. I thank you that by the power of the Holy Spirit, whatsoever you show us in your words today will be written in our hearts and our lives will be transformed into it. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Gradually, we are coming to the end of uh, Second Samuel. Um, we read First Samuel and then Second Samuel. We said they were just one book and they were divided into, it was just one book and it was divided into two books at the discretion of the translators. Uh, there are some stories that are missing in the two books. Uh, tomorrow, by the grace of God, we are going to finish the book of Second Samuel. We're going to read the remaining two chapters, for chapters 23 and 24. I mean, the story of Solomon, for example, uh, was not included in those two chapters, but hey, we can read them in the book of Chronicles. Uh, before I start, I would like to make I would like to make a short announcement. I'd like to invite you to join me as from first of November, as from first of November 2019. We are not going to be doing the mirror of the world for the next you know 10 to 15 days or thereabout. We are going to be doing prayer and fasting. We're going to be waiting on the Lord to give us a word. Um, not to give us a word. He has already given us a word. But for him to show us in terms of what he will do in our lives in the year 2020. And I, we just felt that it's good for us not to do it in December or in January. But, you know, we want to be people who are planning ahead. That's forward planning. So I want to invite you to join me. Uh, in our last video, we saw the importance of covenant. We said that uh, covenant handed over the sons of Saul uh, to the Gibeonites for them to sacrifice. I mean, the, the Gibeonites they came to Saul. There was they came to David. There was famine in the land because Saul broke the terms of the covenant, and they demanded that the sons of Saul be handed over to them so that they can hang it, uh, They can hang them so that the family that was in the land could stop. Uh, so David decided to hand over to them, you know, I think about there were seven of them, the sons of Saul that were left. Uh, but when it came to Mephibosheth, he spared Mephibosheth because of the covenant that he had with Jonathan. And um, there's a great lesson for us to learn there. And the lesson is the fact that um, uh, the only covenant that can save people from the wrath of God is the blood covenant, the blood of Jesus, the covenant that was the covenant that was ratified by the blood of Jesus. That's why the scripture says that he who does not believe is condemned already. So people are going to hell or people are going to be punished by Satan, not because they sin, but just simply because they refuse to believe in our Lord Jesus Christ. And you know, that might sound confusing. You mean uh, people are going to hell not because they sin, but because they refuse to accept Jesus Christ. Well, <laughs> we, we, we may not understand, but the truth is, you believing in Jesus Christ bring you out from the curse of the Lord. That's why the scriptures say Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the Lord. So, it brings you out from judgment into the love of God. And when you are in the love of God, nothing can reach you there. Okay. Uh, today, we are going to be reading 2 Samuel chapter 22. You can go on our YouTube channel. You see all the videos that we have done. I want to encourage you to please subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to leave a comment for us. Uh, whatever minister to you or bless you. 
from that video leave a comment for us so on that note i'd like to invite you so that we can read the book of second samuel together and david spoke unto the lord the words of this song in the day that the lord had delivered him out of the hand of all his enemies and out of the hand of saul and he said the lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer the god of my rock in him will i trust he is my shield the horn of my salvation my high tower my refuge my savior thou save me from my from violence i will call on the lord who is worthy to be praised so shall i be saved from my enemies when the waves of death compass me the floods of ungodly men made me afraid the sorrows of hell compassed me about the snares of death prevented me in my distress i call upon the lord and cry to my god and he did hear my voice out of his temple and my cry did enter into his ears then the earth shook and trembled the foundations of the heaven moved and shook because he was wrought there went up a smoke out of his nostrils and fire out of his mouth devoured coals were kindled by it he bowed the heavens also and came down and darkness was under his feet and he rode upon cherub and did fly and he was seen upon the wings of the wind and he made darkness pavilions round about him dark waters and thick clouds of the sky through the brightness before him were coals of fire kindle the lord thundered from heaven and the most high uttered his voice he sent out arrows and scattered them lightning and discomfited them the channels of the sea appeared the foundations of the world were discovered at the rebuking of the lord at the blast of the breath of his nostrils he sent from above he took me he drew me out of many waters he delivered me from my strong enemy and from them that hated me for they were too strong for me they prevented me in the day of my calamity, but the Lord was my stay. He brought me forth also into a large place. He delivered me because he delighted in me. The Lord rewarded me according to my righteousness, according to, according to the cleanliness of my, of my hands. Had he recompensed me, for I have kept the ways of the Lord and have not wickedly departed from my God. For all his judgments were before me, and as for his statutes, I did not depart from them. I was also upright before him, and have kept myself from my iniquity. Therefore the Lord had recompensed me according to my righteousness, according to my cleanness in his eyesight. With the merciful thou show thyself merciful. With the upright man thou will show yourself upright. With the pure thou will show yourself pure. With the forward thou will show yourself unsavory and the afflicted people thou will save but thy eyes are upon the hurty that thou mayest bring them down for thou art my lamp o lord and the lord will lighten my darkness for by thee i have run through a troop by my god have i leaped over a wall as for god his way is perfect the word of the lord is tried he is a buckler to all them that trust in him for who is God save the Lord? Who is a rock save our God? God is my strength and power. He make my way perfect. He make my feet like hinds feet and set me upon my high places. Wow. He teach my hands to war so that a bow of steel is broken by my arms. Thou hast also given me the shield of thy salvation. Thy gentleness had made me great. Thou hast enlarged my steps under me, so that my feet did not slip. I have pursued my enemies, destroyed them, turned not again until I had consumed them. And I have consumed them and wounded them that they could not arise. Yea, they are fallen under my feet. For thou hast guided me with strength to battle. Then that, that, them that rose up against me had thou subdued under me. Thou hast also given me the necks of my enemies, that I might destroy them that hate me. They looked, they, but there was none to say, even unto the Lord. He answered them not. Then did I beat them as small as the dust of the earth. 
I did stamp them as the mire of the street, and did spread them abroad. Thou also hast delivered me from the striving of my people. Thou hast kept me to be the head of nations, a people whom I do not know shall serve me. Strangers shall submit themselves unto me. As soon as they hear, they shall be obedient unto me. Strangers shall fade away. They shall be afraid of the of their clothes from their close places. The Lord lives. Blessed be the rock and exalted be the God and the rock of my salvation. It is God that avenge me and bring me down the people on and bring down the people under me and bring me forth from my enemies. Thou also hast lifted me up on high above them that rose up against me. Thou hast delivered me from the violent man. Therefore, I will give thanks unto thee, O Lord, among the hidden. I will sing praises unto your name. He is the tower of salvation for his king, and show mercy to his anointed unto David and to his seed forevermore. Amen. Praise the Lord. Isn't that amazing? So we have captioned this. The Lord will give you a wonderful experience. The Lord will give you something to talk about in the mighty name of Jesus. Look, everything that you are going through today is a story that you will live to tell. Look, let me tell you the truth, sir. Um, one day you are going to share your story to encourage someone. And that's exactly what happened in this second Samuel chapter 22. We read it. We, we, we saw how the Lord delivered him. We saw how Saul went after him. I mean, I, I remember um, very well in one of the chapters, you know, Saul was closing in on david you know uh david went and he hide in uh, on top of the mountain and uh, there was no escape route for him and saul was about to just get him guess what happened saul got a news that the philistine are attacking israel and guess israelite well guess what saul did saul turned back from pursuing david I come with the word of the Lord to you today. Those who are after your life, as you are listening to the word of the Lord right now, right now, the Lord will bring a news to them that will distract the attention from following you in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm telling you the truth. The people who said, oh, yeah, um, look, <laughs> I don't want to say this. I don't want to say this. Somebody said that over their dead body, will you get that thing? Look, I come to announce to you in this new month that you are going through, the person will either go on transfer, uh, the person, the word that the person has come. I don't want to say it's going to be over his dead body because uh, the Lord is merciful. But something is going to happen. There's going to be a rearrangement, a shaking. Something will keep that person at home until you get what belongs to you it will be cut out of the equation in the mighty name of jesus i mean wonderful wonderful things uh, that the lord did for david uh, let me just tell you some of the things that the lord did for david uh, is a prayer i just want to say that prayer over your life today and then we will just end the video on that note that's what the lord said i should do uh, david said the lord is my rock my fortress my place of safety wow uh he said the lord is my shepherd he lead me beside still waters so this particular chapter is the foundation for most of the other chapters we find in the book of psalm he said that he is my god the rock i run to for protection the name of the lord is a strong tower psalm 91 you remember he said, the righteous man ran into it and is saved. Do you remember what David said? Uh, he said, he said, uh, he said to Goliath, he said, uh, when the lion and the bear, they came after the sheep, he said, the Lord delivered them into my hand. He said, the same God who delivered me from the hands of lion, a young boy, things that were too difficult for him. 
He said, that same Lord will deliver this Philistine into my hand today. He, so he said, I run to God for protection and he saved me. He is my shield. By his power, I am saved. He is my hiding place. My, my place of safety. High in the hills. Oh yeah, I remember that. I remember when he was just, I wasn't there, but you know, something something powerful about the holy spirit and what the lord has been sharing with me concerning the year 2020 was the fact that uh, the lord said to me they said in 2020 you will visit places that you have not been before and um the lord, the lord said something that was important he said no i'm not talking about physical places i'm not talking about physical places he said the lord said you will visit places so i don't know i don't know what's gonna happen but i have great expectation it's gonna it's gonna be a beautiful year so he said you will visit places so when i was reading the bible i can i can i can associate my i can associate myself with the experience that david had you know going around the mountain and then saw running after him after some times he was being pursued by absalom uh, there is another man, son of Be Belial, who pursued him, and the Lord protected David. Uh, he said, "He is my savior, the one who rescued me from the cruel enemy." So I come to pronounce these words, the experience that David had, to set your expectation in terms of what you are expecting that the Lord will do for you. I come to make this pronunciation upon your life today. That the Lord will turn the darkness around you into light. In the mighty name of Jesus. I declare that at the end of at the end of this video, at the end of hearing this word, suddenly you will see a light. You will see a way of escape. You will see light, you know, that will guide you out. The word of the Lord will guide you out of that situation. It's going to be like a light bulb moment. You're like, oh my God, oh my God, how come I haven't thought about this all along? The Lord will bring you out in the name of Jesus. I love the next one. He said, the Lord reached down from above and pulled me out of deep water. You are in debt and you are immersed in him. It looks like you ain't going to get out. But I speak the word of the Lord over you today, that the Lord will bring you out into your wealthy place. He will bring you out from death into abundance in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will save you from powerful enemies, those who are too strong for you. Uh, somebody is watching right now, and it's like uh, you are in a net. You are being captured. There is no way you you you've offended the powers that that be, and uh, there is no way of escape for you. So you have resigned. You have accepted. Okay, I, I'm gonna bear my own cross. There's nothing. I, I, there's nothing I can do. But today I come with the word of the Lord to set you free. The word of the Lord says that even the captives of the mighty, Alaki Samangarabo. He said that even the captives, the captives of the mighty shall be delivered. He said the prey of the terrible shall be saved. So I speak the word of the Lord today that those who are fighting against you, there is a strong opposition from the Lord. To them in the name of Jesus. I declare in the name of Jesus. Like a flood. Like a flood. The Lord will raise up the standard of the spirit against every opposition. Every opposition against you today in the mighty name of Jesus. I, I declare in the mighty name of Jesus, that there is confusion in the camp of the enemy. They will not agree. Tomorrow is the last day in the month of thirty first in the month of October. Sorry, thirty first of October, twenty nineteen is the decision day for you. 
I declare that tomorrow in the mighty name of Jesus, there will be no agreement. There will be no agreement. There will be whatever the judgment they want to pass over you. There will be no agreement. And because of that, you will be set free in the mighty name of Jesus. With the help from the Lord, you will climb over many walls, obstacles and challenges. The Lord will give you a better way to live in Jesus' name. He will broaden your path and he will widen your step in Jesus' name. The Lord is going to bring you into a large space. Oh, wow. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I received that. I received that for myself. I received that for the ministry. I received that for everyone. The Lord will bring you to a large place. A place of comfort, a place of rest, where there will be no more contention in the name of Jesus. The Lord will save you from those who are fighting you. He will deliver you from the striving of the people. He will make you ruler over nations in Jesus' name. People that you do not know will serve you in Jesus' name. Strangers, shall submit themselves unto you as soon as they hear they shall obey you in the mighty name of jesus lord we receive this experience lord we thank you because we have read what you did and we have read about what you did in the life of david lord we thank you because somebody is going to read our story and that we inspire faith in them to believe you, to put their confidence in you, that if you did that for David, if you did that for so, so, and so, you can do the same thing in their life. Lord, we give you praise. We thank you for the manifestation of this word in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We have prayed. Amen and amen. Now, let me, let me pray for those who are sick. Uh, I want, I want to, I want to read, I want to read one verse, verse 46, second Samuel chapter 22, verse 46. It says, strangers shall fade away. Strangers shall fade away. They shall be afraid out of their close places. Strangers in your body shall fade away. Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, every tree that you have not planted, I command them to be uprooted today in Jesus' name. Lord, when you create this son of yours, this daughter of yours, you created them and they were beautiful when you made them. So, Lord, I declare in Jesus' name, every Every strange thing in their body, in the leg, in the blow, in the bone, the, the right leg, every strange thing that is causing pain that have defied every medical intervention, I command you to fade away in the name of Jesus. Disappear. In Jesus' name. Lord, thank you. Thank you. Thank you because as they examine their body right now, Lord, unusual tumors have disappeared. Growth have disappeared. Things that went there before that the enemy brought into their bodies. Lord, thank you, Lord, because as they receive your word today, your word says strangers shall fade away. At the mention of the name of Jesus Christ, I command every stranger in their body to, to disappear in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. Finally, I want to give somebody the opportunity to become born again, to give your life to Jesus Christ. See, the invitation that I'm extending to you is not for you to come to church, God forbid. I'm not inviting you to come to church because 
um going to church does not make somebody a christian there are a lot of people uh, they go to church but they don't know god so what i'm inviting you to is a fellowship with god i want you to come and partake of the divine nature so even if you are going to church and you don't have that experience it's not out of place to say you know you know what i've been playing church i've been going in and out of church it's like i've been ticking the box i don't have that experience I, I, today i want to surrender my life to jesus christ i want to rededicate my life and i want to be part of this fellowship that you are talking about you know the scripture says uh, in second corinthians chapter 13 the last verse they say the grace of our lord jesus christ the fellowship of the spirit the fellowship of the spirit uh, the fellowship the word fellowship there means uh, you are a partner and a partaker <laughs> um, uh, the fellowship there means that you are a partner that means you are a partner and you are a partaker so you are a partaker of the divine life that the holy spirit has the, the holy spirit is a person that's what i'm inviting you to i'm inviting you to surrender your life to jesus christ so that jesus christ is spirit and the father they can come and dwell in you and do great things to you so if you want to make that decision I want you to please quickly say this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I confess that I am a sinner. I repent of my sins today. I believe you died for me so I can have eternal life. I ask you to come into my heart. Be my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much for saying that prayer. Please do get in touch with us. You will see our email address at the bottom of the screen. Uh, we will be expecting you. We want to send some materials to you that is going to help you grow uh, spiritually. And we want to encourage you to join us for a time of our prayer meeting. As from Friday, every day we do one thing or the other. Uh, please find a local church that you can be part of. Tell them you've given your life to Jesus Christ. I am sure that you know they will be very happy to welcome you into the fellowship. May God himself, the God who makes everything holy and whole, Make you holy and whole, put you together, spirit, soul, and body, and keep you fit for the coming of our Master Jesus Christ. The one who called you is completely dependable. If he said it, he will do it. Don't forget this video is available on YouTube. Uh, don't forget also to join us for the prayer and fasting as from 1st of November. God bless you. Have a wonderful evening. Bye.